So we're now going to look at how we can delete friends once we have them added. And the way that we have everything set up makes this very, very easy. So the first thing that we want to do is make sure we have a friend added. At the moment, I'm signed in as myself and I'm friends with Billy. So let's get going. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to place a button under, the, under this just to say delete friend or delete or whatever you want it to say. So under your views, we want to go under profile and index. That's where down here we said, uh, well, we have all this logic to determine what kind of state we're in. And this part here is you and the other user are friends. Now we're going to do this a little bit differently because we want to protect against a cross-site request forgery attack. So we're actually going to create a form here. So create a form with an action. We'll leave that empty just for now. I'm going to go ahead and add a post method. And then we're going to have an input button here, which is a submit button. And we're just going to say delete friend. And underneath this, we need a hidden input. And the name of this is token. And the value here, we can use the cross-site request forgery token helper. So all this is going to do then is just show a button. We can style it in just a moment. But we can now see delete friend. So let's just add a little bit of styling to this. We can add bootstraps button class and then the button primary class. And that will give us a normal looking button. So when we submit this then, it will just work as a normal route and it work within the friend controller. But this time we have that token in there. So when I click this now, Obviously, at the moment, this isn't going to work, but uh, the token will be in there and will be protected against cross-site request forgery. So let's go ahead and create this route then. So remember, under your HTTP folder within app, we head over to routes. I'm going to head down to the friend section and we can just copy this just to save a little bit of time, paste it down here. And this time we're going to have a post method and this is going to be delete rather than add. And we want this to work on the friends controller, but this time the method name is post delete. And then we can change the name of this as well. So it's friend.delete. So we can actually change this in our view now. Remember it's friend.delete for the root. So all we need to do is update this action. So it's friend.delete. And now we can start to build up the controller which will handle this and we can just test it out. So again, under HTTP and then under controllers, head over to your friend controller, scroll down. I'm going to create a new method in here. And that was called post delete. And we're still accepting a username in here. And we can go ahead and do what we want here. So for now, what I'm going to do is just die dump username and we'll see that we have a little problem here. We're not actually sending through the username within this root helper. So we can do that just by passing in an array with username and then the name of the user we want to delete. In this case, it's just user username, simple as that. So now when we hit delete friend, you'll see or if we refresh, you'll see that we go through and we just output Billy. So we can use this to look this user up and we can go ahead and delete them. OK, so over in our friend controller, then let's pull that user in. So we're going to say user equals user where username equals that username and we'll pull back the first record. Now really the only condition we need to know in order to delete a friend is if the current user is friends. We don't need to do a lot of the checking that we've done uh, like has a pending friend request because there are really no other conditions. As long as the user is friends with someone that means that we, they can delete them. So we're going to go and copy this and just paste this down here. So it's using our is friends with method on our user model. We can go ahead and open up our user model as well, just so we can see this. So under models and user, if we just scroll down, we'll find is friends with that just takes a user in here. It's type hinted and then it will just check if they're friends. It's really, really simple. So if they are not friends with, we're just going to assume that they're doing something a little bit wrong. So we're just going to redirect the user back. And now we can go ahead and delete that friend. But we don't have an easy way to do this just yet. And we're going to make that easy by adding it in our user model. So remember when we did add friend, we have this relationship here between uh, fr between friends. And what we can do is we can attach on our friend of 
relationships. This is a belongs to many relationship. So we can attach a record by ID. And what that does is it creates this record. What we can also do though, is we can detach this. So if we say public function delete friends, we'll create a new method in here. It's pretty much exactly the same thing. We type in the, mo uh, the model being passed through. And then we just do exactly the same as we do here. So we say this friend of, but we say detach. And then we pass in that user's ID. So now we can use this method here within our controller. So all we do is say auth user delete friend. We pass in that user model and then we can redirect the user. So we'll just say return redirect back and then we'll give some information. So say friend deleted. So that's pretty much it. We should be ready to go now. Let's go ahead and test this out. So remember I'm com currently friends with Billy in here. It's been accepted. We're gonna go ahead and click delete friend and that's gone ahead and deleted them. And we have to re-add them back now if we want to be friends with the them again and they have to re-accept the friend request. Now let's just test this out a little bit further. So I'm gonna add them as a friend and I'm gonna manually update this in the database. So I'm gonna set accepted to one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually now set this back like that. So we're waiting for them to uh, accept their friend request. If we were to send a request through now, a post request through, we need to know if this is going to work. So let's just make it a little bit easier for ourselves again. I'm gonna change that back again. And you can see that there. What I'm gonna do there is I'm gonna change accepted to zero, and then I'm gonna hit this form. You can see we're redirected back, nothing's happened. We've not deleted that record. It's just stayed exactly the same. We can only delete friends when we have accepted them and when that record is actually there. Now there's one more thing that we need to test. Let's go ahead and open up another browser and I am actually signed in as Billy here. And you can see that obviously because I'm friends with Alex, I can see the same button. But what happens if I click on this? Well, let's see, it says friend deleted, but then we still see this button. Now the problem here is if we take a look at the relationships between the two users, we have this friend of and friends of mine because one user adds another user and therefore the relationships are different. And that's why we have this friends method which combines the two collections and then returns it. So there's a quick way to deal with this. If we go under delete friend, at the moment we're only calling the friend of method or the relationship. But if we use friends of mine, what this will do is it will delete it regardless of who added who. So let's go ahead and give this a test. If we go over to Alex and delete friend now, you can see that that deletes the friend. Let's go ahead and add Billy back as a friend again. And let's accept this. And this time from Billy, it didn't work before, but now when we hit delete friend, because we're taking into account both sides of this, it goes ahead and it works.